Hey guys, welcome back to another Building Kashyyyk weekly segment. Um, so guys, this week is uh, something that we're coming back to. So we took a two week break and uh, we're finally back. Really excited to be back. Um, the first week that uh, there was no Kashyyyk was because I was at Philly Breakfast. Had a good time, saw, good, uh, saw you guys, uh, met some new friends. Always a good time to go up to, uh, to uh, the conventions. And um, yeah, so that was that was really fun. So if you saw me there, thank you for uh, stopping by my booth, many fix for you. And uh, so that, that was the reason why that Kashyyyk uh, segment didn't go up. And then the other reason was, um, uh, last week's reason, was because we had the Clone Army Project, which is something that is going on right now. There's a link below if you want to check it out. It's called the uh, the Clone Army Project. And what that is, is um, it's, my, it's going to be my very last Clone Army video. And as a lot of you know who follow my channel, Clone Armies are a thing I do every year. It always gets bigger, but this one's going to be the final one, and I'm going to make it as big as possible. Like, really awesome big. And uh, to do that, I'm having you guys see if you guys, uh, having you guys fund it, um, so I can actually achieve that goal of making that big because um, it's a lot of money to do that. But also, you know, a lot of you guys, I don't think this came through with a lot of you guys, but I think uh, some of you may have got this confused, but the clone troopers, the, the money that you bought, that you fund for the project are not for clone troopers that I mine separately for you guys to, to give back to that. No, no, no. The clone troopers that you're, uh, the, the money that you uh, support towards the project, um, that money is being directly paid for the clone troopers for the army and then once the army video and the public event has been made then those clone troopers those exact clone troopers that I bought in the first place are going to you guys afterward they're being shipped out to uh, to you guys um, so I think it's a really cool thing I have going on you know uh, my entire friends and family support me on this and uh, I think it's gonna really be cool now the only reason this is gonna work is if you guys share it, and if you guys have family or friends that work in like the news industry and stuff like that, that works even better. Share it with them um, because trying to make a thing viral or get around to everybody is you have to hit the viral places. So that's the important part, guys, is that you share with everybody possible, especially if they work in like the news industry or something like that. So if you're a big fan of the project and if and if you haven't seen the project, definitely go check out the link below. I promise, if you like Kushik, you're gonna like this. Um, definitely check it out. So that's going on right now. Uh, now back to Kashyyyk. This week, guys, we're going to be focusing on organization. Um, we're going to be taking a look at the trays and bins and everything I have to show you guys. Um, so that's really cool. And uh, the other thing we're going to focus on is kind of the trail, uh, the uh, train tracks. And I need, I need you guys' opinion on the design I came up with that. So definitely make sure you stick around for the entire video so you can answer my, uh, my question down in the comments. Uh, I need you guys' help on that. Uh, but yeah, so without you guys, let's get into the video right now. Alright guys, so starting off the episode, something we don't really talk about too much here on Kashyyyk is, you know, you know, we're building Kashyyyk quite a bit, right? And uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably noticed that I have a lot of parts kind of laying around. These are these are what parts look like when you get them in from uh, Bricklink and eBay and, and Lego and such. Is, you know, it's a bit of a hassle to organize all this. <laughs> Um, so, what I've done uh, over the last two weeks is, um, this isn't even all of them, but I've uh, ordered a lot of organizing bins. And uh, these things are literally, they're made for uh, like nails and stuff for tools. Um, but, I've ordered a whole bunch of them so uh, I could use them for Lego. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen I have a couple of them, but uh, I just don't have enough for all the parts I've been ordering for Kashyyyk and such. I wanted actual organizing bins. And what's nice is these bins can come out like this. And uh, so if I want a specific part, say I'm building something right here, I need like three specific part bins, I can pull them out, you know, say, oh, I need, you know, these two parts right here, just pull them out, and there you go. So that's what I really like about them, and these bins, they uh, they just kind of go down like that, and strap down like that, and they're really great. Um, they're really cheap, uh, This these were $10 each. And these were twelve dollars each, so they were really cheap. Um, uh, this is made by Stanley, which is a pretty well-known tool company. Now this is made by Stackon, which I'm sure some of you may have never heard of them. And Stackon, this is my first time actually trying their thing out, and the quality is actually pretty good for what it is. Again, it's it's you're putting Lego in these things, so it's plastic with plastic, so it's gonna work. Um, Stanley makes one like this. 
but it's uh, ten dollars more. And uh, from what I read on uh, Amazon, which where I got these, um, it was way better deal to get the stack on bins because there really isn't a quality difference. They're about the same. So I'd rather save myself a couple, you know, fifty, seventy-five dollars worth of money, and uh, put that towards other things. But yeah, so these are great bins. Again, I have a whole bunch of them like this. Um, they're just stacked up, and that's another great thing is they stack so well. So they're really great for organization. So if you're ever going to do a mock, and if you're ever going to do something big like a chic, um, you're going to have a lot of different parts, or you want to organize your Legos or something like that, these bins are number one I think I suggest. I don't, su uh, no, I don't suggest the stack bins, uh, which is the ones you kind of like see on shelves and stuff. Those are not good. Um, these are 10 times better. Um, I've seen professional Lego builders use these things. They're really great. It's uh, they they can be put away, you know, on like shelves like this um, because you know they're stackable, so you can stack them each on itself. They're not, you know, one size or whatever if it's that certain size. So it's really great. These things are really useful. So I'm gonna fill them up with parts, and I'll show you guys what they all look like with parts next. So yeah, these are really great. Okay guys, so I have sorted out all the parts, and here's what it looks like with all of them, just about all of them, uh, filled up. Now this right here is even more parts that have to be, uh, you know, put into their buckets and stuff. And then over here are all more pick-a-brick uh, cups, <laughs> and um, it's one bag right there, it needs to be sorted out uh, from pieces into these... Uh, to these trays so as you can see there's a lot of parts here now I want to say this guys that this is not even all of the parts um, this is not even all of them because you have to also consider I have other ones of these with parts in them already and I have multiple ones like that all over the room plus they're in another place too so imagine three times this amount and that's about where we're at with all the parts and I still probably need some more trays to organize this um, and these. So uh, I do have one green one left, so we'll definitely be utilizing that soon. But uh, let me just go ahead and show you guys you know, all the parts. This is all for Kashyyyk. These have been all ordered for Kashyyyk over the last six months. And I guess I've just built up a stock, I guess you could say, of parts so that when I need something, I can just get it. I don't have to wait a week before I order it. So I just want to show you guys how prepared I am to really build the behind the base. Now all the brown you see was going to be for the um, Kashyyyk tree over there. Um, but you also another thing you have to consider is some of this brown stuff that you're seeing right here that's left is actually going to be for these things right here because I told you I was going to build about 20 of them so I actually have the parts for 20 of them. Uh, and those are going to go on both sides. So that is what some of that uh, the brown here is being utilized for, especially in the bags right anyhow uh, so right here um, this is actually my one of my newest brickly quarters and you can actually see all these printed tiles right here and these are keyboard printed tiles right there and those and those are definitely going to be utilized for the base and then uh, just a lot of great parts here. I'm just gonna, I don't want to go into too deep, too much detail. You guys can pretty much look and see what I have going on here. Now this entire tray right here came from a pick a brick cup. Um, one pick a brick cup actually. So I just want to show you all the different pieces you can get at a pick a brick uh, the thing at the store so very nice over here some more parts and that's all the little stuff and then over here these are the deeper bins um, not, not the little bins definitely have more of that and uh, yeah so I'm sure a lot of you are going to ask, you know, hey Dave, why do you have about a billion of these pieces? And the answer to your question is this little piece goes for like 35 cents on BrickLink. That's 35 cents per one of these. As you can see, that would be a lot of money right here. Because it's probably about a thousand plus 
so you can do your math on that one. Uh, and then some dark green pieces, some plants, all of this, uh, a lot of this right here is definitely going to be utilized later in the base when we head back up to the front of Kashyyyk. Trust me, we are not done there yet. Um, we're just focusing on the back at the moment. And then uh, these pieces pretty much were used for the uh, Kashyyyk mountain wall, whatever you want to call that. Um, and some of the other pieces here are going to be used to the inside of the base. Um, now, the reason why I'm showing all you guys these pieces is not only because um, I have a lot here, but because I want to show you all the different types of pieces I'm getting color-wise and what I really look for when ordering these pieces. Because I know a lot of you just think, oh, well, you need bricks. And no. You need a lot of different variety of pieces. Um, as you can see, I like to vary in a whole bunch of different things. I'm really looking forward to using this piece right here. I got a whole bunch of them. I have a big plan for those. And then these, these are really cool. Be careful not to drop them. They're the biggest pain in the world to uh, pick them up. And lastly, I have my dark red and black. Uh, black I usually use for the inside, the interior, because you can get black bricks cheaper than gray bricks in bulk. Um, so I use that for, you know, uh, engineering, you know, holding up stuff and whatnot. But yeah, let's show you some. I got some uh, gates in there. I got all kinds of different pieces. But yeah, this is probably one third, probably actually one fourth of all the pieces I have for Kashyyyk. Well, just my entire pieces collection, really. Um, I have a lot of Lego. That is no doubt about it. But I I just, all at least all the pieces here, all of this you're seeing right now, all of this was ordered for Kashyyyk in one way or another. Um, so I just want to show you guys how, how I, I, get a, I, get, I get the question, you know, David, you're just not dedicated to Kashyyyk or something like that. Well, absolutely I am. I wouldn't be putting all this time, money, effort um, into this project if I didn't care about it. So... This is a good thing to come off of a two week break and I really wanted to show you guys that trust me I'm ready to get back to building and uh, there's no excuse for me not to build something <laughs> uh -huh, every week, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, so back to the whole organization point I was trying to make earlier is that as you can see this makes organizing, especially these pick a brick cups here, this makes organizing about 10 billion times easier and awesomer um, as you can see I, I can just take one of these trays out at any point I want to oh I need that piece right there that piece right there and yeah I have the perfect idea to combine that and that and that um, and it's it just it's a, it's one of the best and I know a lot of professionals a lot of professionals use these types of bins um, so the, if you want to be a you know really you know Lego artist or you want to be you know you want to build a lot of mocks with a lot of detail or something like that using these trays is pretty key like I said these trays only go for about uh, actually both literally go for 10 bucks each so even the yellow ones and green ones go for 10 bucks each on Amazon I think is where I got them from so uh, they're pretty cheap for what it is um, don't go to Home Depot or Lowe's or uh, more expensive there um, so definitely you know hit them up online they're really good deals Sometimes you can find them for like only like eight or seven dollars each. It's really cheap for what they are, um, and they're really high high grade construction. You don't want your Legos falling out over the place, so um, they're really great. And uh, yeah, also I got a lot of these olive green slopes just because um, I feel like I can use them some way in some something in a future mock. I don't think I'll be utilizing that many in Kashyyyk, um, but yeah, so. A lot of different, as you can see guys, I have a lot of different part variety. I do not, uh, unless it's like a plant or something like that, or a brick that I know I'm going to use a whole bunch, I keep the part variety very, very different. Um, nothing is really the same, sort of. Um, maybe I'll get like different colors, like this and this. Um, but yeah, so organization is key, and uh, that's something I've been lacking on for the last couple of months. And, um, and as you can see in the parts on the floor, it says, uh, this is only like, I have a, where is it? So there's all these parts right here that need to be organized in this entire box right here and all these pick-a-brick cups and there's even more around this room. 
So yeah, fun times, cleaning and organizing. But hey, you know, sometimes this is a process that's kind of boring, and I'll be honest, it is kind of boring. Um, but the result is fantastic. Um, you, gotta, you gotta spend time to, uh, to make things work, I guess, you could say. But yeah, so guys, organization is very key. I really wanted to point that out. I think I have proved my point that it looks really awesome, and it's really key to have different parts too. Um, so yeah, so that's it guys. Go ahead and just move on. Okay guys, so the last part I'm going to show you is uh, the train track. And as you can see, I got the train tracks in. I think I had them uh, a couple weeks ago. I put them down, and that's kind of what it looks like, but not too interesting as you can kind of see. A bit, bit plain. So I've already spiced it up, I guess you could say. And this is what I've come up with as the design that will be continue all the way down on each thing. And uh, I've kind of utilized these, um, these Technic pieces I found around my room. I was like, hey, you know, maybe I can use these. So I tried to use them, and I think they look pretty good. Um, I don't know. So uh, I'm, I've been kind of experimenting, and you can kind of see pieces around. Um, but this is what I've come up with, and it's okay. I'm not sure what else I can do with this. Uh, as for the floor around it, that's going to be something for something later. Um, but let me know. Um, Yes or no, guys. Yes or no, down in the comments. Do you like this design? You know, would you like to see that continue all the way down on, on both sides? And don't forget, there's going to be train track over there where this giant mess is at the moment. Um, let me know what you think. You know, and if there's something uh, you think I could do differently, let me know down in the comments. Um, I think it looks pretty good. The thing is, is I don't want to use any like, you know, like special pieces or anything uh, right here. I want to try to keep it as flat so that this train track is already. Um, it's already one stud up. The train track is sitting on another plate right there. So this all has to be lifted up by one for this design to work. And uh, I need to order a lot more of these uh, things. That's why I didn't continue it. Because I only have six of these um, Technic rods. and They're pretty expensive too. So I'll have to get those in soon. Um, yeah, so let, let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, if you think there's something else I could do, just let me know. Um, so as you can see, you know, the train track looks very cool and for the most part. And I think it'll look even cooler with this. For the surrounding area, um, I'm going to have like some styles of plates and stuff, which I don't have right now. But I have some ideas for what I want to do. Um, and I think a little, it'll look pretty good from, from what my idea is. Um, so yeah, this will be something we'll pick up next week. Um, now, again, like I said, the reason why I would continue it right now, but uh, first of all, I'm not I'm not sure whether you guys are gonna like this design or not. So I want to I want to see what you guys' opinion is on this. And then again, I need more of these. So yeah, right. Anyhow, uh, that's gonna do it, guys. Now, the lights. You know, we touched on the lights last week, and these power generators look great. Um, but the reason why we're not going to continue with lights is, um, well, first of all, there's some more parts I want coming in at the moment. Another thing is all the other lights. So we're gonna get back onto this section next week, um, and we're gonna we're gonna go full load on this. We're gonna get we're gonna we're gonna work really hard on on this on this part all the way down, and uh, maybe even try to finish it in one week um, because it is really key that. Uh, that this gets going because as soon as this gets going then we can uh, move on with this area and once we have this area done then we can build up the these story things and then have this whole like second floor thing start being built and then we can start uh, going up with the mountain again and then we can work on the second floor and then we can get back to the front of the Kashyyyk and then we might be done and that'll be over the next couple months so yeah anyhow the lights I've ordered I think it was 300 or 400 LEDs, so three or 400 of these LED lights, um, and that's a lot of money. So uh, you know that's that's part of the reason why um, you know there's been a lack of building. Is honestly I can't do anything until I get lights. So these things all have to have lights. All of that has to have lights. That had to have lights. It 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 kind of sucks because I have the parts I need to build everything with, uh, except for you know this stuff. 
But uh, for like this, I already have the parts and everything I want to build with, but I just need the lights. And those are finally being shipped, but they won't be here till, um, well, they'll be here next week, but uh, they'll be in next week's episode, basically, is what I'm trying to say. All right, guys, that's it. Um, small, short segment of Kashyyyk. That's going to do it. And uh, let me know, yes or no to this, to, to the train track design. Do you like it or not? Should I change it? Should I just scrap it? What do you guys think? Or is it too simple and you think I should try something else? All right, guys, I'll see you next week's segment. And we'll go ahead and end off the segment right now. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we went through all the organization. I'm sure a lot of you guys were like, whoa, look at all those parts, dude. Um, but, yeah, so I have a lot of parts for Kashyyyk. There's no excuse for me not to build something. But the thing is, is I still have not gotten those lights in. And as you guys may have known, uh, I need the lights because they go throughout pretty much the middle and the core and all under the mock. So if you build something on top of the underneath underneath the mock or underneath, you know, the structure or whatever, underneath the structure, you build something on top of that. Trying to go back and finish the fish little wires and all, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. So I'm having to wait to build stuff until I get the lights. The good news is next week I will finally have those lights. They will be here. So I'm really excited about that. So you don't have to wait anymore. The lights will finally be here. Um, and so that means a lot of building's going to happen next week. So I know a lot of you are like, oh my god, you have all these parts and like, why haven't you built as much? And the answer to that is, I need the lights. I can't build anything without the lights. Um, otherwise, it's going to be the biggest, hardest thing, and I'm going to tear down. It's not worth it. <laughs> All right, well, anyhow, guys, um, I got check out the Clone Army Project. I kind of mentioned in the beginning of the video. Uh, definitely check it out. If you like Kashyyyk, you're going to like this, I promise you. So check out the link below. It's really awesome. I think a lot of you guys are really going to like it. If you don't have any money support, then please just share it around, guys. Tell your friends. Tell your friends on Skype. Tell your friends uh, family on Facebook or Twitter or whatever social network you use. And if you don't use a social network, you know, telling a person and uh, telling a person in person also works too, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's, it's a really cool project and I really, really want it to go successfully. Um, because it's it's not really for me, it's more for you guys. Because I know you guys have been... I wouldn't be making Clone Army videos every year if it wasn't for you guys coming back to them every year. So, you guys technically are making this, in my opinion. Because you're the ones who supported me all these years to get to this point. So, you know, it's really cool. Well, guys, that's going to be it next week. I promise there's going to be a lot more building. Because it is building Kashyyyk, right? <laughs> uh, but that'll be pretty, uh, pretty cool. Um... Uh, the lights will come in, so we'll definitely have a lot of building going on. Uh, and like I said, uh, there's going to be some more videos about the Clone Army Project in the next couple weeks. If you're watching this video out of the timeline of, like, if you're not watching this, like, in September or October of 2014, then please ignore everything about the Clone Army Project, because it's already over. Uh, hopefully it got funded. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, um, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the segment. Bit, bit, bit short, but yeah, you know, next week we'll have a lot more. <laughs> Alright guys, you have a great and wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.